hello there and today we have a alley slash ebay haul it's a classic a classic ebay haul you might say uh, so i got my industrial ear piercing yesterday so if my ear is looking a little bit red and just a little bit sad right now it's because it is a little bit sad right now but i mean soon i'm hoping it's going to just be back to its usual sassy self but with you know it'll be extra sassy but anyway so i've bought some products obviously um it would be quite disappointing wouldn't it at this point if i said well do you know what i've not actually bought any products i'm just here to tell you about my ear i'm so sorry how rude am i right now i hope that you're having a wonderful day whatever you've been up to okay so we're going to begin with the aliexpress purchases and i'm going to begin with a fuck all your fuck all your oh yes it's coming it's coming fucking over here fucking over there fuck 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 if you want to fuck around that's fine if you want to fuck up and down that's fine because we're fucking around fuck on your eyes fuck on your lips fuck on your face fucking all over your face yeah yes she has props now i mean really how professional is my channel becoming these days so professional i mean really the boys are downstairs just looking for their microphone like daddy daddy where's my microphone gone i mean really it's my microphone now for my fuck all your songs and dances but anyway okay i've actually got two products by fuck 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 all your but i'm going to begin with the eyeshadow paddle oh, the brush just flew out as if it had other places to be right now this is the tropical vacation palette i believe that this was released at the same time as the ever-changing palette and the majestical twilight palette uh this actually reminds me a lot of well not a lot but it kind of is somewhat reminiscent of the modern renaissance palette by abh and um, it's just got some of those muted kind of like neutrally kind of shades it unfortunately did encounter a little bit of a treacherous journey i feel on the way over here because this kind of uh, brownie shade is fecked up to put it uh, bluntly i know that the names of palettes are not really that important but i don't think that tropical vacation really like is the best name for this because to me it's like a little bit more like autumn vacation it's like more of an autumnal kind of a look um and i feel like the ever-changing palette potentially was the tropical vacation you know when you're there in your you know little um bikini you've got your sarong on you've got your flip-flops on and you just you know not got a care in the world covered in sunburn that's you know more reminiscent to me of tropical vacation but anyway just for comparison because i have it right here i will compare the uh, palette to the abh can you see what i mean like it just it's it is pretty fecking similar i've not actually compared side by side but the the last like quadrant in them both look very similar and you know these two kind of ready like pinky shades are similar these two at the end for feck's sake so similar i didn't even realize before how similar they are but yeah so anyway that is the a tropical vacation or autumn vacation palette as we will rename it uh as i said let me know down in the comments if you would like me to uh, test this out i would happily do that for you because and let's face it you know i'm going to be testing out the palette anyway and i would much rather do it in the company of all of you rampant makeup junkies you know who will appreciate it so okay next i got lips 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 imagine if dildos came packaged like that it just came and it was like dildo and you're like oh yes that's a dildo i mean yeah really i don't know why everything comes back to dildos i mean i don't own a dildo i know you're probably thinking oh my gosh amway's probably got dildos like popping out of her makeup table popping out of her sock drawer popping out of her drawer at work i promise you i do not have a dildo like not one I just think the word dildo is quite frankly hilarious but anyway okay oh okay so this is the first time i'm viewing this so it's one of these kind of i i call them like lipstick toppers uh, because whenever i've tried these super metallic glittery like lip products they're always quite sheer um so if i just do a little swatch it's got a nice like 
paddle brush. They, these looked like so gorgeous in the swatches um, on AliExpress and it does actually look really, really nice. Um, but again, there's nothing too like special about it. I feel really bad saying that when it's there glittering away like, look at me, look at me, I'm here admire me and it's and i'm like oh no it's not really that special i mean really but do you know what i mean i feel like we've seen this now again and again and again you're thinking i mean why did you fucking buy it i know i'm just seduced by glittery things obviously i feel like the uh, packaging is really really nice it's very sleek and it kind of looks quite you know expensive um it's a very thin situation um there's no problems you know wrapping my hand around it you know that is the Heavy Metallic Liquid Lipstick and it is in the shade Alexandrite. Alexandrite. So next I got another one of these Love Alpha little tubs. Oh, I've lost a little thing. Oh, by the way, I've just remembered. Can I just tell you this? I'm sorry. I know. All over the place. Okay, so this is the brush that flew out of the Tropical Vacation palette and I forgot to mention it, but in my kind of testing out video when I tested out the Twilight palette, I didn't test out the brush or anything, but since that video, I've been using the brush so much because it's like a small little domed fluffy brush and it's just really good, you know, for like a little bit of like crease work. I just love it. So I just wanted to mention it and it's got this like flat paddle bit at the end, which also is really, really good for applying like shimmer, you know, to a lid. So yeah, just to mention, like don't disregard the brush that comes with the Fuckle Your palettes because it's actually really, really good. I uh, just wanted to mention that. Oh my gosh, look back to the Love Alpha, it's all over the place. But this, again, look, it's been upside down and all of its being has like, gone up to the top but anyway this is another one of these like super sensational like just packed with glitter kind of eye kind of creams um oh oh i don't know why this doesn't look as sensational as my other one look it just looks a bit like something that lives in the bottom of the Mariana Trench, potentially. It's just like, let me just do a little, oh God, I don't even like put my finger in it. That's what she said. I mean, really, but do you know what? This is nowhere near as good as my other one. Like, let me just dig out my other one. Where the feck is it? Where did I put it? Where are you? Okay, so this is my other one, and can you see, it just looks like so superior. It's got that beautiful metallic kind of glow to it, whereas this one just looks like... It's just like night and day, they look so different, oh my gosh. Like, now I'm feeling worried, because I'm thinking, if people, like, off my, like, little review of the um, number 10 shade, if people went out and bought other shades then the other shades are like, could be shit. Like literally, because this is shit. If I had watched someone rave about this and thought, oh, I'm going to buy one, but I'm going to get a pink one. And in this fucking nightmare of a thing had turned up, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like what? And when like this, is she smoking crack these days? I mean, what? This is just fucking disgusting. It's like, I've just swatched it a little bit there so you can see, look at that. And then look, if I just swatch this pink one, which basically is just a bit of like silver glitter, that's fecking shit. Shit. What? Like I just assumed, probably very incorrectly, I assumed that all the other shades would be as majestical as this one, but obviously not. Uh, this is the shade number 07. What a disappointment, guys. Will you let me know in the comments if you've bought any of these, what you think of them? Because number 10, look at that beautiful situation. It's gorgeous. But then this one is just like, right, okay. So imagine someone's just had a baby and you've got placenta. And like how I would imagine if you wiped the placenta on your face, that would like probably give you the same effect as this. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like if you went out and bought this one based on my recommendation of this one and you were just thinking, oh my gosh, I am never gonna listen to Amwinator again. Uh, please, please just, just know that. I just thought they would all be as bombastically fantastic as this one. 
I mean, really, I've had this song in my head all day, just going round and round and round. They call me Mr. Bombastic, Telephone-tastic. Smack me on the bum and call me Mr. Bo, oh, fantastic, Mr. Bombastic. That's a great song, oh my gosh. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the eBay portion of this little haul. Okay, so I got these two uh, kind of setting powders, I believe, from L'Oreal. Uh, L'Oreal has recently released these here in the UK, but whenever I go on the Boots website, they're always out of stock. So I took to eBay thinking that I need them. I mean, I need to have these right now because they look gorgeous. Writing is in French. So I can't really give you much info on them, but okay, so this one is called Rose Insolence, and then this one is called uh, Tenacion Apricot. So, I mean, that probably doesn't help you out a lot, but do these not look like so sensational? And as I said, like, I believe they're an all over setting powder, but I've not swatched them yet because I want to test them out in a video. And I just think the design on, on them is so like, fantastic that i don't want to like ruin it with a swatch but i'll just swatch them a little bit seeing as you asked i mean why not okay so this is tenacion apricot and this one is is the other one which looks fucking powdery what the feck oh my gosh okay so swatch swatch okay so this top one isn't anywhere near as a luminescent as i was expecting do you know what the swatches look fucking awful what the heck <laughs> i don't know what to think guys they swatched terribly of course that doesn't mean they're going to look awful on the face and i was expecting them to be like you know super luminescent and glowy and know that they weren't like meant to be highlighters and i suppose like with a setting powder you don't really want a setting powder that's going to make you look like uh the guy in twilight well, actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind looking like the guy in Twilight, just sparkling all over the place. That would be fantastic. That's my life's dream. But anyway, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed just based on the swatches. But anyway, like, what do swatches stand for anyway? I mean, can you trust a swatch these days? I think not. So do you know what? I'm going to be open-minded. I'm going to give these ones a go. Do I look like some crazy little, like, bug type creature here? Like, hello, what's your name? My name's Bob, and uh, let's party. So you know I am a massive advocate for the finger technique when doing your uh, mascara. I just think it's unbeatable. There is nothing in the world that could beat your fingers just lightly pressing against your eyelashes and then you've got vivacious lashes. So I want you to know that with the next product, like, I'm in no way, like, thinking that the finger technique isn't you know, the way forward with having fabulous looking lashes. But I got an eyelash curler because I was watching a video one night and it was um, this lady was saying, this is how I create my best lashes ever. And she got eyelash curlers and then she got a hairdryer and she actually blew her hairdryer on her eyelashes. And I was just watching it thinking, oh my gosh, that is some dedication to having curly eyelashes. I need to do that too. So I treated myself to some eyelash curlers so that I too could get my hair dryer on the job. I just thought, why not? Obviously this would not be something that I would do every day, even if it turned out looking fantastic. I do not have the time for that, but I just thought, you know, on an occasion, I could give it a go. These are not real shoe Emera, Emera, sorry, can't pronounce it. Shoe Emera, Emera, Umura, I can't even pronounce it right now. Um, and I feel really bad because I get really upset when people can't pronounce my name. So anyway, apologies for that. But I'm going to give this... Oh, shit. Seriously. I was attacked. Did you see that? Will you be my witnesses? I was attacked by my new eyelash curlers. See, this is why I don't roll with eyelash curlers because I feel like... They're a tool of torture and I always used to worry that what if they just like literally like just tear my eyelashes off and then that would just be such a sad day, you know, for the animator. So, but anyway, I'm going to give it a go one time and just see if it actually makes my lashes look amazing. Um, and even if it does, I won't be doing it all the time, but you know.
Okay, and just to finish off, I have a fake product, right? And just, I don't want to make like a big thing out of this, but going forward, you probably are not going to be seeing any fake makeup on my channel because after lots of soul searching and I don't know, I was just, I, I was just thinking, I mean, if you're feeling this like conflicted every time you test out fake makeup, is it worth it? I don't know, I just thought, no, I mean, I've got so much makeup that's fantastic that isn't fake and just so much makeup from AliExpress that isn't fake. I just thought I don't need to be putting myself through these conflicted feelings. I just decided, no, I don't want to make it like a huge thing of it, but I did buy this product. This was before I'd made that decision. And this is something that I am going to try. It's basically fake Steeler Magnificent Metal um eye products and then over here we've got the shimmer and glow ones which are less like glittery and more metallic but I just thought you know that I'm on my search to find the best dupe for the magnificent metals that's not what I'm doing with this because I wouldn't want to recommend this however I was just thoroughly intrigued to see how the fake one would compare with the genuine one just a voyage of Amwen's intrigue basically I just want to find out so I am going to be testing this out but going forward you will not be seeing any more fake makeup here on my channel I just don't want to be like I don't know I don't want to be in a way exposing anyone to fake makeup who may not have otherwise been like interested or no knowing much about fake makeup I just feel very conflicted so yeah Anyway, with that being said, I am going to go. I'm going to leave you to the rest of your days in peace. I hope that you've enjoyed this haul. Uh, please, could you let me know in the comments down below which of the products you would like to see me test out? And I will definitely do that for you. And thank you so much for all of your support as always. My eyes are just, I feel really tired. My eyes are feeling tired, like literally. My eyes are feeling tired right now. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to go now, but thank you as always for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I will be back soon with more.